the Clinton Avenue Reformed Church is proud to present the new series, Elijah, Prophet and Miracle Worker. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our Bible stories. Of course, we're still talking about Elisha, the great prophet of Israel. I'm happy you're back, and I hope you watched our last video on YouTube or Facebook, invited your friends, and even maybe put some comments. If you don't know me, I'm Pastor Mark. I'm pastor of Clinton Avenue Reformed Church in Bergenfield, New Jersey. In just a few moments, Elisha is going to come and join us to tell you one of the most remarkable stories around. It's a story of a great general who thought he was just the hottest thing in the world. He had conquered a lot of people. He used to make raids against Israel, God's own people, and he seemed to get away with it. He took prisoners. He captured food, supplies, money. Oh, he had quite a career. But, you know, he had a flaw, too. He had a skin condition called leprosy, which was contagious. That meant that he could not be close to other people. They were afraid they'd catch it, too. Well, he heard from a young girl who was his wife's servant that there was a prophet in Israel, Elisha, who could cure him. Well, he was so full of himself that he figured he could buy God's favor. He traveled to Israel with all kinds of money and fancy garments to seek a cure. Well, what happened next? Well, I'm going to let Elisha tell you all about that. So he'll be on here in just a minute. But please, I'm going to ask you to like this, share this, invite your friends to watch it also. It's very important that we know who God is, what God requires of us, and that we always walk humbly before God. So, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Elisha is going to tell this story. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here for my stories. And for you folks who are new, let me introduce myself. I'm Elisha, the prophet of Israel. There are times God speaks through me. So I can tell God's people what they need to do. Other times, God gives me power to do some amazing things so that people realize I really do speak for God. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about an army general. His name was Naaman. Now, Naaman was not a very nice guy. Naaman was an army general of a tribe called the Arameans. And they lived close by us in Israel. 
Naaman was a general you did not want to mess with. He was a tough general. He won a lot of victories. One of the things he did was he raided into our area. He stole things, including people. And one of the people he stole was a young girl that he had as his wife's servant girl. Well, Naaman had everything a man could possibly want. He had power, riches, fame, but he had a flaw. He had leprosy. He had a very bad skin disease. It was a rash. He, he couldn't touch people because he might be contagious. He couldn't share plates or spoons or cups with people. And that really bothered him. Now, remember I told you about the little servant girl of his wife's? Well, his wife, his wife heard from the servant girl, you know, General Naaman might be held by a prophet in my home country, Israel. The prophet's name is Elisha. That's me. So Naaman got permission from his king and the king of Israel to come visit me. And he had a whole big bunch of donkeys with him. And on these donkeys he put gold and silver. On these donkeys he put very, very expensive fabrics. In other words, he brought a lot of valuable things so that when he saw me, he was going to try to buy a miracle from God. Now, I wanted to show Naaman a few things. I wanted to show him that I was not intimidated by him. No, I work for God. He works for a king, an earthly king. I wanted to show him that God's mercy can never be purchased with stuff. And so, when he came to my house, he came and wanted to see me. I didn't come and see him. I sent my servant, his name is Gehazi. I sent him out there and said, you tell Naaman to jump in the river seven times and his leprosy will be cured. Now I've shown you the river before that's right outside my house. I'll show it to you again. Can you see the river down there? It's not really a very big river. It's kind of small. So I sent word out through my servant Gehazi. All General Naaman has to do is jump in there seven times. Go in and come out. Go in and come out. Seven times the leprosy will be gone. Well, Naaman went into a rage. He said, I came all this distance to talk to Elisha. He doesn't come out and see me. I wanted him at least to come out, visit with me, wave his hand a few times, do something miraculous, and take away my leprosy. And he didn't. Who the heck does Elisha think he is? I'm powerful, General Naaman. See, that was his attitude. Do you know people like that who think they're hot shots? The hottest shot in the world is nothing compared to the power of God. Now, fortunately for Naaman, he had a few advisors with a little more wisdom than he did. And they said to him, look, if Elisha had told you to do fancy stuff, handsprings, levitate in the air, do a big trip somewhere to a shrine, you would have done it. He's asking you to do something very, very simple. Why won't you just do it? So Naaman got his cool head back and said, might as well, I've come this distance. And so he dipped himself in that brook seven times. And his leprosy left him. His skin was clear. He was a fine-looking fellow once more. 
that's when he knew the power of God was much greater than his power. He came running up to my door to thank me and to offer me all kinds of great gifts. Well, this time, I didn't have Gehazi meet him at the door. No, this time, I met him myself. He said to me, what do you want? Thank you. What do you want? His gold, his silver, his garments. I said, I don't want anything. This was a gift of mercy from the God of Israel. And he said, well, if you won't take all this stuff, then may I, may I take home with me a bunch of dirt in a bag? You see, people thought back then that God lived in the earth. And by bringing home some dirt from Israel, he thought he could have the God of Israel with him wherever he went. And he also said, you know, part of my job is I have to go to a temple for false gods with my commander, my king, and I am supposed to be lifting up a hand in praise to that false god. So, you know, in my heart, from now on, whenever I do that, it's really to the God of Israel that I'll be sending my praises. And that's good. So I said to him, go in peace. And he left with all the gold and silver he came with. He left with all his garments. And he was cured. Now, you know, you might be asking, hey, how come you didn't curse this guy and keep him in leprosy? But that's not the point. I didn't want revenge, even though he wasn't too bad a guy. I wanted to make him a better guy by teaching him to be humble before God, by teaching him who really was the God of this earth. You know, you folks, you folks who follow the God of Israel, you've got a choice every day. Every day, you can act well toward everyone and show them, show them, you follow the God of Israel by your actions, or you can be mean and give people a bad impression of the God of Israel. I hope you choose justice, mercy, and love. That'll be the best way to guide, to honor the God of Israel. Hey, thank you for listening. God bless you this week. This is Elisha the prophet saying goodbye, but I'll see you next week for another.